this box will play um, VST, Windows VST plugins just right out of the box. And we'll have a way to install it into the box. It's got flash memory inside, so once you load it in there, it's in there. Um, the machine is set up very similar to a traditional effects box where you have a, mach a machine A and machine B with full routing between the two machines. Each machine can run up to four plugins in different slots. So you can see we got a couple in there, and then this one isn't loaded. But you can load those up, and then that's one, one machine, that's one machine. You can use them independently or together. And the box has four analog I.O. and SPDIF I.O. It has some expansion slots, which we will be announcing later, those expansions. But that's a basic I.O., 24-bit, up to 96K sample rate, very low latency. Um, and uh, really the main thing is that, you know, you dial up a, a, a plug-in, and then it, the plug-in tells the box what parameters it has. So that's what's cool about it. It looks like an effects box, but you'd never, like, whatever the effect is, does the work. So the whole way of loading and storing presets, sets of presets, sets of plugins, you can save this entire machine as one thing without going and saving all the little pieces. So if you find a magic sound with these three plugins, you can just save that and name it your magic thing and load it into this machine or this machine. Or you can do, you can save both machines at once if you're using it as a big, one big machine. You can do it that way. And unlike any other effects box, you can also run instruments. It'll, it runs VSTIs as well as, as effects. So you could use this as a keyboard module. An extensive array of things to make this box a truly professional piece of gear. CPU usage, you can see a readout of the total usage, the usage for each of the two machines, and then each slot. So if you think something weird is going on, first of all, you'll see an overload if the thing is totally overloaded, but then you can see what's overloading it. Each of these two machines is four slots, and so these are like inserts. So you insert an effect one after the other, so they're in series. If it's an instrument, then what it does is it actually will pass the previous slot's audio through and add it to it. So you can have four instruments, and it'll sum them all together. Or you could have, you know, a couple of instruments with a couple of effects, or three instruments all going through one effect, or different combinations, and it'll figure that stuff out.